this is the gate that leads from the yard into the garden. The problem is, we have a very special dog. And, well, he can open the gate. So, that's why I originally installed this, which latches in here, and here is the gate, and so it's blocked from moving. However, a lot of times I gotta go from the yard into the garden, from the garden, into the yard, and so on and so on. And as you can imagine, this latching mechanism isn't all that all that easy and comfortable to use. So I was thinking, I kept thinking and from my childhood I remember that our neighbor had his self-closing gate. Not like those in supermarkets and so on, just just the normal self-closing gate. And I always saw that even as a kid that it's kinda cool. And so I was like okay this is something I would probably like to have on my garden as well. However, I kept thinking, how am I going to do it? And in the end, I just stopped worrying and got to work. And what I came up is pretty simple actually, this thingy. You know, uh, I'm not saying it couldn't be done in a simpler way. In fact, I'm pretty sure it could. Anyway, uh, there is this post, there is this pulley down here, and there is this bolt and a cable. It was basically the only steel cable available to me and it was the strongest thing I could find without going into town and buying something something new so all of the things you can see here this is from the materials I have found around the yard and okay let's see the thing in action let's unblock this stone and if I just let go the system of the pulleys and the big rock in the chicken mesh uh, pulls down on the cable through the pulleys and pulls the gate towards the closed position so whenever you And because it was really loud, once when it was closing, and uh, it wasn't like it's going to break down or something, but I wasn't quite comfortable with the sound, so I just installed these. This is some kind of plastic padding used for packaging, and I had some of it laying around, so I just zip tied. A piece of that stuff to both these latches and it's much quieter like it still makes sound but like like a like a soft bang like a soft bang like a soft bang like a soft bang like a soft bang, like a soft bang. But it was much louder before now as to the process of making that mechanism I used these 
steel profiles, L profiles with holes in it. I'm not sure how they are called, neither in English nor in Czech, so forgive me. And of course, feel free to um, enlighten me because learning new stuff is always good, right? So I use those steel. L profiles because it's, it's, it's basically just an oversized mechano and it's great for prototyping especially if you don't know how to weld which I don't yet and the pulleys as you can see they are wood turned now they are turned from pieces of wood because uh, I spent quite a lot, a lot of time thinking how am I going to make pulleys? Where am I going to source them? This is going to, this is gonna cost me a quite a lot. And then it came to me that I don't have a lathe, but I have a drill. I have a pressed drill. And well. And I might make a video on that. I'm not sure if you can see that there's a profile, there's like a slot on the, on the circumference of the pulley where the cable goes and it doesn't slide up and down. And I might make a video about how to make these. And I used one, two, three, four of them and in fact I'm pretty positive that you could you could do with maybe two pulleys in in total or three but like if I if I could afford to have this post about here, so it's not under angle to the to the pathway. I could do without this horizontal pulley, and then I would just have this vertical pulley, which would lead the cable upside towards the upper pulley, and maybe the third one, which is just which which is really just uh making space for the for the weight so that it doesn't scratch or bang or gets stuck on the post so uh if this post was here and wasn't under angle i could do without this and i would use about one or two pulleys less and it would be much easier and less time costly. Anyway, another setup I originally planned, or at least I thought it might work, was this post here, horizontal pulley, 90 degrees angle, but I wasn't quite sure and I really didn't know how I would install that post right here because as you can see there's this hibiscus plant and a yew and there is also some roots, they are from the yew tree and it wouldn't be quite as easy to install the post, which basically I didn't overcomplicate in that regard, because I just I bolted the thing together, and then I just placed a piece of wood on top of it and hammered it down into the ground. So nothing really hard to do but anyway doing that in such a tight space plus I was kind of worried that the post which is like 20 centimeters 
deep in the ground, uh, I was afraid I might hit some of the roots. And one thing is hurting the yew tree. The second thing is roots wouldn't let me go further. So I would have to probably dig and make a way for the post and again tight spaces. So no, no. You might be asking what is the um, chicken mesh and what is the weight made of? Well, I figured if you have if you have uh, a large enough uh, scale at home, which I don't know, maybe some of you have, like those large scales used in post offices for packages and so on. Well, maybe you could you could uh, measure the weight of the gate you want to close on the scale and then do some math which as of now I, I, I cannot tell you the equations or anything and I have no idea how I would go on with that but what I'm trying to say you could probably just measure the weight of the gate calculate the losses on the traction on the pulleys and then you would come up with some ideal weight you need on the other end of the cable. Anyway, I practiced trial and error and I found that about the only thing that's uh, reasonably heavy and has a reasonable size so has a reasonable density, that's what I was going to say, is this granite cobblestone, which I have about uh, 50 of them laying around. So you might be asking, uh, what is the chicken mesh for? That is a valid question. Actually, I was trying to, well, maybe I, I was thinking maybe I could drill a hole into the granite cobblestone, attach a bolt into it with a chemical anchor or something, like glue, construction glue or something, and then attach the cable to the bolt. But I don't have a hammer drill and I don't have that kind of glue available right now, so I would have to buy some. And so I was thinking maybe I could somehow ghetto engineer a way how to attach the cable to the stone itself, like wrap it around and make a knot or something. But I tried about two or three times and it always slipped off the cable and didn't quite work. And the chicken mesh is actually not my idea, but my mom's idea. And she was like, okay, we have some chicken mesh laying around. And maybe you could like make a cradle and then just hang the cradle on the cable. And so I, so I just snapped a piece of, of the chicken mesh and made a cradle. And surprisingly, it works. Now, I suppose, I, I, I'm not really sure, this is like, this only served for, for the summer months and it was quite rainy uh, and yet I don't think the pulleys are in any, in a worse condition than they were when I installed them. But I'm pretty sure that after the winter and spring some of these pulleys might need replacement and that is something I'm counting on so it's not like it would surprise me once I find out that I need, I need to replace some of those pulleys. One more feature I was thinking I might add is like bolt down a small roof or cover on top 
and on top of this one as well and maybe I am again overcomplicating but I I have this hunch that if I just put a flat cover it's not gonna do much of good work because the rain rainwater and snow and everything will just uh, once it melt snow once it melts down the water will just flow around the edge of the flat surface and then underneath and it will suck and wet those pul wooden pulleys anyway so I, I I think that all the covers would have to be slanted slightly and that is just something I was lazy lazy to do so anyway keep DIYing and live out the frontier way.